It's been an hour. You haven't moved. I need you to stop being a jerk and talk to me. Put the cross down first. If I put the cross down, will you attack me again? Oh yes, that's actually my plan. She's not your girlfriend. I thought she was. I mean, she's pretty, she's here. We're practically drift compatible. Or at least Digimon and Digi-Destined. I'm more upset that you lied to me. Again. My sexuality is mine. So it's really not even your business. I thought I was asexual. But then I found myself attracted to the princess. I guess sexuality is more complicated than television would have you believe. And you know what, Benny? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not knowing. I'd really like for you to put the cross down now. Mm, morning party people. Ooh, do we have any coconut water left? Benny's upset over last night. <sighs> Nothing better than the smell of slut shaming in the morning. Look, ghost dude, chill out. Over my undead body! Why do you care, Wraith Charles? It's not your business, and it's not like you're alive or anything. <gasps> what? That wasn't cool, princess. Not to get all Atlas shrugged, but if I slow down to worry about everyone else's feelings, I'd get nothing done. He's still my friend. Look, Jill, why do you hang out with these guys? You're smart. You're already running this dungeon. You could make a lot more money as a player character. All you need is a class and a race. Well, I did ace my online necromancy course. They're sending me a certificate. There you go, dude. I'm going to juice some sensu beans before rehearsal. I'll see you later. Jill the Necromancer. No, Jill the Necromancer Supreme. You're sulking worse than the cast of The Walking Dead. Or at least the fans after season three ended. I'd be the Grateful Dead if you stopped comparing me to that show. Yeah, Daryl's a bit overused. Thrak, I have the chance to be very petty right now, and I wanted you to try and talk me out of it. Can't we just assume you're going to make the right decision? You always do anyway. I can't bypass or ignore how I'm going to feel. Thrak, you've known me for a long time. Do you consider me... alive? No! No? Nope! Not even a little bit! I don't even see you as a person. In fact, because I'm a Cyclops, I don't recognize anything shorter than me to be on the same level of the food chain. Merely a babbling sack of protein to be consumed at my leisure. And you're not even edible! So you don't even have that going for you! I'm just exhausted trying to keep up with you living people. It's hard for me to fit in, and this is one of those days where it feels damn near impossible, and I could really use some positive reinforcement, some f someone that I trust. Benny, you'll always have a home here. As long as my name is on the lease, you're welcome to hover anytime. I mean, it's not like you have a body mass or skin cells or a heartbeat or the ability to manipulate the world around you, thereby limiting you to a state unlike in the purgatory. Well, have fun! Overlooks the entire valley? This is some prime-ass real estate here. Hello, Mr. The Red Dragon? It's SD. Yeah, I made it to the base of the cave, and you're right. This place is a disaster zone. But it's got some real potential. I mean, everything's already half collapsed, so it wouldn't take much to destroy everything. I mean, it would take, like, a minotaur having a seizure or a... Cyclops having a temper tantrum. Love being evil. Don't have to say goodbye to anybody. All right, let's crawl under some skin. Okay, people, this is just practice since we've never run the captured princess scenario before. Princess is in her place. Boom, Meta Knight, suck it. Year of Luigi, live on. I don't like that the treasurer is here in broad daylight. Trust me, none of us do. She should be locked in a chest behind a door, down a pit next to a labyrinth made of fire. She has to be here. 
Thrak, you're okay with the plan? Start with a few rocks, then move in with your club. Oh, thank Loth! I'm finally putting my degree to some use! Take that guidance counselor at MU! You went to MU? Yeah, Mordor University! It's actually pretty easy to get to when you take the bus! Go, Wargs! So, an adventuring party enters the cave. An adventuring party enters the cave. Do I seriously have to do this? Yes. Hi, my name is Player One. I suck. And action! <laughs> Welcome to the Cave of Deadly Doom, jackasses! <laughs> That's it? That's your entire monologue. What would you know about evil monologues? I get kidnapped for a living, so a lot. You could afford to be a little more, I don't know, dramatic? I bet you'd love that, wouldn't you? It's just constructive criticism. <sighs> you, of all people, could afford to be a little more, oh, I don't know, lively? Lively? Really? Thrak? Jill touched the treasure. What? It's true. She put her hands all over the treasure last night. <laughs> Do not hook up with the treasure of a mighty threat! Are you kidding me, Benny? Like you drotards even need me to be here! You cancer destined scrotums can run your own LARP! Hm. Uh, don't you just love a professional working environment? Don't talk now, treasure! I'm very upset with you! First of all, I'm your employee, not your property. Sec you are officially grounded! What if you got cave herpes or started laying eggs? Then where would we be, treasure? Even if that could happen, you'd just be getting more treasure. I... I... You... You can do that? Sure. Can I get you some wine, a back rub, and a shirtless Neil Patrick Harris? Yes. Yes, you that was the room of worry! Oh my god, we have an adventuring party approaching the cave! Nobody panic! This is not a drill! Betty, get back here! Betty! Hey there, everybody. I just traveled from foreign lands to bring you Don't a panic, Thrak. Just do the monologue the way Benny would. No, 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 no. I'm not good at talking to people. I just smash. Oh, come on. You can do it. Uh, uh... Uh, shut up! D doom for you! Exclusively, male person! Too much drama! Uh, 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 free the princess! Anybody? I mean, uh, free princess! Anybody? Oh, uh, help! Help! I'm in peril of losing my. Circulation! Ugh. Are you guys a dungeon or some sort of improv group? Because I'm not getting this. Can I just sign for the package and we can call it a day? Or is this some sort of immersive art piece? That'd be kind of cool. It's not. It's just dress rehearsal. Well, you guys are really good actors. Well, the drama is certainly believable. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa! Princess! It's my necromancy degree! I'm a necromancer! Hey, now we maybe we can lose these losers and start our own dungeon. Yeah, maybe we could. Congratulations! So, uh, you gonna sign for this or not? Thank you! I promised myself I wouldn't use this damn thing when I pulled it from the corpses of those last Loth witnesses. Which I totally did off-screen in episode 3. It'll be on the DVD, shut up. All hail the Spider Queen. All hail the Spider Queen. All hail the Spider Queen because... Ugh, friendship is magic. Whoa! Um, hi. Hi there, Spider Buddy! We're the avatars of the Mirror of Forceful Conversion. Great, goody. You're just as aggravating as the last two jackasses that I killed. What seems to be the problem, Special Buddy? 
You're not full of smiles and spider venom. Frankly, I feel like I don't fit in anymore. Well, I mean, figuratively speaking. I mean, I'm a ghost. I can fit through any solid matter unless it's covered in salsa. But that's the problem. I'm dead. The rest of the world and my friends are alive. So I was thinking of converting to become a missionary for the Spider Queen. That way people expect me to spread misery. Well, what makes you feel alive, special buddy? Hmm. Hatred. I feel better when I hate someone. We can make you hate through song. Wait, song? No, that, that will not be necessary. We're not a singing show. D don't you have like, a, I, I don't know, a D-list celebrity endorsement or a pamphlet I can read? Song, 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 song. Okay, well, I think it's working. I don't think I've ever been full of so much hate before in my afterlife. Hey, Mirror Buddy, I just had a thought. This guy's already dead. Let's baptize him in the name of our Spider Queen. Wait, what, you can, that's legal now? Song, song, song. Okay, song, <laughs> full of plenty of hate right now, song. guys. You can song, stop that whenever you want to. Song, please stop. Song, please. Song, please. Song, this isn't even a song. song There's no melody. Song, You're just droning something in song, monotone. Song, please. Stop. Song, stop. Song, I'm going song, to kill him if you don't song, stop. Okay, song, zombie coming right up. Ah! I'm going to spider heaven. Why do you guys always say that? Who gave you those cashews? You're totally fine that I just offed him like that. Jeez, okay. Well, th Whoa, okay, that was really fast. Jeez, how potent have I become? Uh, you know what would make me really happy, you guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, I already feel better. That was a good time. The. Uh, oh, um, hi. Can I help you? I think Staples might be hiring. Ah. Uh. No. Stop. No. Stop. Out. Oh, the heaven with this. I'm out of here. Stop. Absolute bloody rotards. Every single one of them. Oh, all I try to do is run a good dungeon, and all they ever try to do is undermine me every single step of the way. Sounds like you're a wraith who knows what he wants. Who said that? Scaldy? You must be Benny. Ugh. Who? The brains of the operation that no one listens to? You want to take a guess at who I am? Well, judging from your pulse, somebody that I already hate. Or the first person in your afterlife to actually believe in you. But go with hate. Hate is good. I represent your landlord. And it's time to collect. This episode is brought to you by the Spider Queen. Song. Bringing you love and friendship and terror and spider venom. Song. Uh, and it burns fat. And, and it burns fat. And muscle. And, and muscle. And, and brain tissue. And, and brain tissue. And gnomes. And, and gnomes. Ooh, and also six. Mention the number oh, six. And the number six. It burns the number six. Wait, it, 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 you can't burn the number six. Oh, cut, 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 cut. You can't burn the main sponsor. This episode is brought to you by Silicon Dragon Consulting, specializing in coups, insurgents, and Faustian covenants. Because remember, you don't need to put up a front to stab someone in the back. It is also brought to you by the number nine, which is the number six after it finally got out of bed, stood up straight, bleached his teeth, and made something of itself.